Hi guys, welcome back to That Figures, the show where we take a look at action figures and all the accessories and all the stuff that goes along with it. We're going to pick up where we left off. Now we're going to hit WWF LJN Series 2, the 1985 line. Um, some of which, I say these three right here, were purchased off of kids. And those two, I bought brand new. So let's take a look. Let's just go right down the line, Paul. Mr. Wonderful Orndorff. Here we go. Here is Mr. Wonderful. This was purchased on July 2nd, 1988. Again, from that kid that lived in the neighborhood three blocks down. And here's the poster that I got somewhere along the line from one of my other friends who actually bought Mr. Wonderful brand new. Uh, I don't have the card. I never got the card, so I don't know. But I have the figure, obviously, and the poster. And there's Mr. Wonderful, Paul Orndorff. All right, moving right along. We go to George the Animal Steel. Here is George the Animal Steel. I got him on... I got it written down. I got him on July 1st, 1988. Again, from that kid. I bought... Uh, a decent amount. It looks like I probably bought about eight figures off of him. So there's Georgie Animal Steel. Here is his card that I got from one of my friends. Again, later, years later, or a year later, because I actually have it written down in these wonderful records I kept as a 10 or 11 year old. I got the card and the poster on March 19th, 1989. Here is the poster, the card, the figure. George the Animal Steel. Alright, that brings us to King Kong Bundy. Here's King Kong Bundy. I got him August 2nd, 1988. I'm going to say it's from somebody, some kid, because I didn't buy him brand new. But I do have the card, and I do have the poster. But again, I got from one of my friends... So I did not buy him brand new. So yeah, August 2nd, 1988 is when I got King Kong Bundy. The same day I got JYD. So I got him from somebody. I don't know if it was the kid that lived three blocks away that I bought a bunch of figures off of. That I went back a month later. Maybe it was. Or maybe it was just another friend or a school friend or someone like that. But then eventually I got the card and the poster from somebody. All right, and so that leaves the Dream Team, which I did not get together as a tag team, even though they were available as a tag team. Now, here's the interesting story. I got Brutus Beefcake originally on June 29th, 1988, from the kid that I bought all those wrestlers from. I'll have to get a total of how many I got from him. But, eventually, because I wanted the poster and the card, he was on sale somewhere. I think there was... Uh, at Alexander's at Roosevelt Field Mall in New York. And I got a bunch of figures that day. My dad took me because they were $5. And that was on September 4th, 1988. I got him and like Coco Beware and a bunch of others. So I got a, I got a new one. And this is the new one that I got. With his card. And his poster. So this is the one I got brand new. The, I don't know what happened to the other one. I probably traded it off to friends who needed beefcake. And they had someone I wanted. Something like that. So that may be where I got some other one of these guys. So here is Brutus, beefcake, card, and poster, and figure. And that, of course, leaves Greg the Hammer Valentine. Picked him up February 1st, 1988. Same day I got Big John Stud. Now here, I obviously have the card, and I've got the poster that hung on my wall. Not sure what happened to the sticker, but I know I got these. this guy brand new. Now I looked at the back of the card, and here, if you could see, it says PW, and so does my Big John Stud. I, got, I have it written down that I got them the same day, so I'm thinking I got them from a store called Playworld. Again, what was it? February 1st, 1988. There's my Greg the Hammer Valentine figure, card, poster. 
All right, guys, that does it for the 1985 or Series 2 line of WWF LJNs. I know it's a short video, but they only released five uh, figures that year. And if I combined it with 86, it'd be even it'd be too long of a video. So I'd rather have this shorter video and then have a more reasonable video when we get to 1986. Because if I combine them, it'd be way too long. So next week, that's what we'll be doing. The 1986 WWF LJNs. Uh, again, if you have any stories or tell me the stores you bought them at, any memories you have from your WWF LJNs, please let me know. I would love to hear them. Just put them in the comments below. All right. Have a great day and we'll see you next week.